removing weeds with heavy and powerful machines can result in breaking a precious tree. It was one of the best apple varieties in my orchard and it was not easy to obtain. Since it broke at the old graft union, the first method I tried was to regraft the variety to the old rootstock. The breakpoint was very close to the ground, so the bark grafting technique was the only option I had. I started by cutting the stump and smoothing the cut to obtain a good uniform surface for grafting. I collected a few scions from the broken tree, selecting those that had the buds still dormant. I protected the scions from dehydration by wrapping them in parafilm. This happened in late March and the bark was still not slipping easily, so I had to be careful to avoid breaking it. To know more about this grafting technique, check the channel for other videos on the subject. After cutting and inserting the science, I applied pressure with elastic tape. I finished by covering the whole area with a pruning mastic so air and rainwater can't get in. As higher temperatures were expected, I protected the grafts with aluminium foil. Five weeks later, the first leaves started to appear and I opened the aluminium foil. After seven weeks, the graft seemed to have taken. After two more weeks, with an aphid attack and sunburn, they are struggling a bit, but I am confident they will pull through. My second option was grafting the variety to a new rootstock as a backup, just in case the bark graft might fail. I used the modified cleft graft. Check my previous video to see this grafting method in detail. After 6 weeks, the graft is developing nicely. After two months, I have a nice backup of my original tree. The third option was trying to root the tree main trunk, as it still had a few small roots. Extremely heavy pruning was essential for this attempt, since water absorption from a small amount of roots can't keep up with evaporation from lots of leaves. Without the help of a dedicated rootstock, the tree can survive in the orchard heavy clay, so I decided to plant it on a patch of sandy, well-draining soil. Keeping the soil moist, during the next few weeks, 
is extremely important to give the tree a chance to root. After 6 weeks, some buds are starting to break and the original leaves are still there. Things are looking good. After 2 months, the rooting seems a success. We will see how it grows and produces, planted on its own roots in the following month. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share and leave a comment to support the channel. Hit the bell to receive notifications of new videos.